at the end of the day, this isn't gonna be perfect, but it'll be perfect for us. <laughs> we're just giving our bus a little bit of character. Yeah. And you guys thought we were done with demolition. Just kidding. Emily and I got a new toy that we forgot to mention last week uh, for recording. And I'm actually oh. holding it and using it right now. And we mm -hmm. got the DJI Osmo 3. So we are hoping to take our recordings to the next level yeah. to create some better footage and videos for you guys. But I think with that being said, let's go ahead and get to work. We went ahead and unscrewed everything around the rim, and the thing that pops out is just Ooh. the frame. Uh, so, we're trying to figure out necessarily how to prevent this from falling out on its own. But, one down, a couple more to go. <laughs> Go for it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Give me a little. I just wanted to be known that something is missing here. I was about to say, give me a little update. Oh, what the... I cut the first piece out. <laughs> I scraped it out, I guess. Perfect. Yeah, we are trying to take these walls off and trying to be as careful as possible because we want to reuse them for a template. So the process that we've come up with is using a scraper and a hammer and literally just. hammering in the scraper so that it kind of peels off that layer of wood because there's a crap ton of glue under here. So just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on. Uh, Emily and I started to rip out uh, the side walls and actually realized that they're not as bad as we thought they were. So we are gonna remove some of the sections that we think we need to and then use some spray foam to fill in the gaps uh, in the insulation side. And then it looks like I'm gonna be headed back to Home Depot to go ahead and pick up uh, the new plywood that we're gonna replace this with. I think that this is a learning experience that we would love for everybody else to learn from rather than our own personal mistakes. And try and do some inspections before you just start ripping stuff out. So we thought that we were done with the demolition. Technically, we should have been. We should have just applied some additional glue to the walls. Um, but it is what it is. Hey, blue. just coming down today. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't even tell, but it's pouring down rain. Our friends Robert and Yvonne stopped by to brighten our moods after realizing that we didn't need to rip the walls down. We finished the night with a putty party to seal the subfloors, and after a few adult beverages and plenty of good laughs, we came back the following day to finish the walls basically about to use this spray foam to fill in any of the gaps that we have in the styrofoam boards as well as the ceiling. So I will show you guys that as well. 
Also, I don't really know how to do this. So I'm just kind of doing it how I think I should do it. This stuff is very sticky. On to the next spot. Right now, I am in the process of shaving off the parts that um, kind of like protruded a little bit. You can see it comes out like really far. So I'm basically just shaving that down so that we can put these boards up. So, while Austin is cutting, I am shaving. And don't worry, I'm being careful, guys. So I just got back from Home Depot and it looks like we have some more friends here working on the bus with us. Robert and his cousin, I believe. Robert and Ivana are here and our friend Mario is also here. It looks like we're gonna have some additional hands to help out today. You can see the crew is back out here. Robert and Ivana are here as well as we got a new face. Mario, you gotta say what's up, man. First what's up, time. Everybody? Yeah. yeah. I haven't been over here. I live away but how's everybody doing um they would have talked off without me <laughs> <laughs> <Keep going. laughs> all right well he has the, the official tour of the bus yeah, yeah so very nice you know as you can see we got a lot of a lot of work to still do here name for Pegasus and yeah let's just show you inside so here we have the handicap doors and eventually we'll have a bed it's gonna be a loft bed and then we're gonna have garage drawers to pull out of there all right and now we've got the floors we have awesome sub floors there's gonna be more layers to it but this is what we have right now which is awesome so now we've got the boards on the walls if you saw from the beginning of the video to now if you're watching for this long we have boards up which is awesome. We literally did all of these today. So that's progress right there. This is just the rest of the bus. If you want to just look around, we don't really have much in there yet, but we have plenty of ideas coming for you. And that's it. All right, bye guys. Get out of my crib. Peace out. <laughs> All right, everybody, so we're back in Pegasus today, wrapping up some final pieces to finishing up the walls, uh, I believe. Is that correct? Yes, we're going to be finishing up the bottom half of the walls as well as the top on the back wall over there, that way. <laughs> and we're going to create boxes for the wheel wells because we're going to be building on top of those. So on the passenger side, we'll have our closet on top of that wheel well. 
And then on the driver's side, we'll have our kitchen counter sink area on top of that one. So <laughs> we, we're basically just building a box so that I don't really know why we're building a box. That's just what we're supposed to do, I guess. You you want to build a box. Okay, so from what I've <laughs> from what I've researched, the reason for building a box is it gives you better angles, better measurements to work with. So what you guys haven't seen is that we dropped the bus off with our mechanic Chris because he's an awesome electrician as well he has like three different manuals for our type of shuttle bus and he has cleared out all of the wires so, so we'll show, show you show. Yeah, yeah up here that used to be like a big box with all the crazy wires and stuff we didn't know what it was for all the space up front we can use that for storage shelves whatever we want to do with it which is perfect and we're still doing a lot of research our next big steps are plumbing and then also to finish up the electrical to have an understanding of where our plugs are gonna go for our electronics. We are now in the process of finding a system that runs by itself, whether we turn on a, f a switch or uh, we hook it up to our solar power system mm -hmm. um, or anything like that. So that way we don't necessarily have to have the bus running. So that way we can have it go throughout the night and make sure that we're not sweating in 90 degree heat while we're out in the middle of who knows where. Mm -hmm. Guys, also wanted to say thank you so much for all the comments down below. Yes, uh, not only have you guys you. been so incredibly sweet with your messages and words of encouragement, uh, but the advice that you guys have left us has really been extremely beneficial. Please continue to drop those comments. You know, Emily and I just wanted to say thank you for yes. helping us in our journey and our process. Uh, but I think with that being said, we need to actually get back to work. <laughs> yeah, they'll probably be good. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Just a little tip for you guys. If you have any extra cardboard laying around, it is perfect to use for a template for all the weird wonky cuts that you may have for your van, bus, whatever you're using. Cardboard is key. This measured up here, and then we will Cut straight across on this side. And then over here, we will have the same thing. But over here, and then... Are we just gonna cut one long piece? Yeah. All right guys, so we did a little bit of spray foam insulation. We actually ran out of the spray foam that we had, uh, but as you can see, we kind of secured some of the wires <laughs> that are underneath here. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a little messy, but 
Emily and her mom are about to put in this insulation thing. <laughs> so I we're gonna... Green fiber uh, blown in insulation. There you go. So we're gonna put this up there. And then after that, we're gonna put this piece up there and then we'll be done with the walls. give you a little update. We have the bottom layer of the walls put in as well as the top layer. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And be sure to tune in next week where we get creative and build something for a gray water tank that you've never seen before.